All right, class. Now that is an example of how to construct the frequency polygon. Keep in mind that for frequency polygon, the first thing we need to find out is the midpoint. All right. So first, I am going to find out the midpoint. Short form is MP. So the midpoint of 60 and 80 is 70. The midpoint of 80 and 100 it's 90. It's 110. It's 130, and that will be 150. All right, so frequency polygon basically will be plotted on the midpoints and the value of your frequency. So at 70, the value is 2. I'm going to plot the value at 70. It will be 2. Similarly, at 90, that will be equals to 7. So at 90, it will be 7. At 110, that will be equals to 105, sorry, 15. So that will be 15 only. At 130, it's 11. So at 130, that will be 11. At 150, the value is 5. So at 150, the value is 5 here. All right, once you got the value, all the points, you need to uh, plot them, uh, join them with a proper line. So I have joined all the points with the proper scale and pencil. And now you need to close your frequency polygon. Keep in mind that frequency polygon should always be closed. So for that part, I will just close the frequency polygon with the x-axis. And I am making the value with the red pen to make it sure that you are not going to forget that part. All right. That part it is very important. Frequency polygon must be closed. 